Comforting Youth Violence Town Hall Meeting. Or Market TV is proud to present the third town hall meeting this Tuesday, November 7th, to help stop youth violence in our city. The goal of the town hall is to promote conversation between city leaders, civic leaders, and members of our community. Attendees will have the chance to have their voice heard. The future belongs to the youth. The youth of today will be our world leaders of tomorrow. Leadership is required to solve persistent problems with our youth. Our youth are in trouble. Time has come for us to unite and provide guidance and support to our youth of tomorrow. Time is now for the youth to realize their position of leadership in our society. Different generations have come and passed, but upon present lies greater expectation. Please join us this Tuesday, November 7th, for our third annual Town Hall Meeting. Rest assured in the unity of purpose in this table and the determination to work with you and engage with you and respect you as we work together to make sure that we all feel safe in our communities. And heard people talking about this issue, the issue of community safety, and it wasn't from the standpoint of encounters with police necessarily, that came up in terms of how people relate to police, but it came up in the context of what we can do by way of additional programs in the community to do with jobs and to do with activities that can keep kids uh, well informed, to do with... We, there's more work to do, but we're here to work together. There are some initiatives that the government has been taking now with the Anti-Racism Directorate and with the Ontario Black Youth Action Plan. When it comes to safe communities, I want to let you know that this government is committed to taking a hard look at how our criminal justice system works. We know it's not perfect. So I, I too am so glad to see all of you here because you folks truly do care about public safety as does the police. And I'm here today to listen. I'm here to listen to all of your concerns. I'm here to build upon the already strong relationships that the Toronto Police Service has with the Somali community. I'm here to work in partnerships and strengthen those partnerships as well and to focus on community safety. To our mothers, you are not alone. <laughs> to this community that I love, that is my family, you are not alone and you play, you make our country richer and I say thank you. <laughs> أروتين خطر بات جلسان موجدي يدبك السوس اعتبت به جلسي هنت واحد أبا وارد كونو برارو. This violence قف بمنو خادنا يا. ده ده 2005 خاتم. ده ده وحي خاتم 2010. ده ده خاتم 2016. We can dig هذا الصورة في ده ده قاتي ده ده قارن دونو. أيوت كل جرنوا هذا سوم على تاني. And the reality is. The constant struggles that are there in the community is somebody's work. Somebody has to do this job. And like in 2015, it touched me. These kids do live a double life. Right? When I lost my son, I never thought that, like, uh, you know, there's a parent that Ilmu had the gel, have been yemalin drool be a hori galal suudin and still surviving. But when your child hasn't been to one and got shot, it's not easy thing to swallow. <laughs>